Hi friends, welcome to my channel. This is Amy from Savoring the Seasons. And I know today's video might upset some people. You went down? I like my chickens. And before I even start this video, I just wanna say that we are a family that eats meat. And if you are not, you are entitled to that and your choice in your life. But we do eat meat. And so occasionally we will have to cull some of our chickens. So today is a big day. We are going to be um, culling some of our chickens. And honestly, I have been trying to psych myself up to do this for the last three months probably since we got new chicks. And I really don't want to do it, but it's necessary. Also, before I can do anything, I've got to get the garden water. And it is so dry here that I have to water the garden pretty much every day unless it rains, which is like never. So we're working on that right now. We've had 13 hens for the last, oh yeah, my cheek is really puffy. I have an allergy to some bugs in the spring and I just have to live with it. But thankfully I don't look like an ogre yet. Anyways, we've had 13 hens um, for the last couple years and they've served us well, but now they are kind of done with their laying and honestly, if I lived in the countryside, I probably wouldn't care as much, but when you live in town and you have to just pay to feed them, it just is not worth it. And plus, when I first got chickens, this is like a big lesson for me, I just ordered the best layers and I didn't think about cold hardy chickens. And I bought chickens that really don't do well in the cold and we get cold here like minus 40 cold and so they were getting frostbite and it just is not kind so my girls want to keep some of that I just told them I don't think that it's very nice to so I think we're gonna do some today and then possibly some more towards the end of the summer but this is a new thing for me I have no idea what I'm doing I have watched a few videos and we'll just see how it goes so before we start, we have to pull everything out of the garage and set up a space. I think we'll just do it out here, kind of out of the wind. We have a lot of wind here. Now to do this, we bought this um, pan soap, which I actually have used once already because the power went out, so I needed to cook breakfast outside. But it worked quite well, so hopefully it'll work well for today. Some people get like a killing home to put their chicken in to do this, but we don't have one, so we're just going to use a slip knot and hang them from the rafters in the garage. And we'll just attach their feet in here. And now that we're done, I definitely can see why people get a killing home, and I think next time we would. There's no way that I could have cut the heads off myself because they flap too much and the chickens are just way too strong. Another thing we learned is that you really need to put the, I mean, if you are gonna do the slip knot thing, then you really need to put it low into the garbage can because once they started flapping, there was just blood everywhere. It was pretty crazy. I think my favorite part was actually plucking the chickens. So many people had told me it was the messiest part and just um, the worst part and I actually thought it was kind of fun. It's really satisfying when you can grab a handful of feathers and they just fall right out. But I did learn that you really don't have to dunk a chicken in the hot water that long. You dump it in the boiling water so that it um, loosens the feathers but you don't have to leave it in there long. They come out pretty easily. Another thing that I learned that I was not prepared for was the smell. 
it's not that it really stinks there's just a smell and i wasn't expecting that it wasn't enough to make me stop doing it but it's kind of gross okay so i'm gonna have to clean this off here to get better I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of gross. So, I can't believe you find this joint. Oh. I think videos make this look a lot easier than it is, but you find the joint and you're supposed to cut. So that's as much footage as I got of me actually eviscerating the chicken because it's a messy job and I was not sure what I was doing so I thought I would video the more experience I got and it just didn't happen. But I am just really proud to say that I did it and it really wasn't that bad. I even managed to learn something very funny about culling your laying hens. Chicken and found an egg. <gasps> Whoa, I almost dropped it. Today we cleaned up the chicken coop. We put new wood chips in the nesting boxes. I love a clean coop.